Ooh, if you don't like these, you know what's really going to burn your biscuits? I don't have an American flag anywhere in my classroom either. I teach about Marxism. I teach about socialism. I teach about trans rights. I teach about LGBTQ history. I teach about black history. I teach about the racial history of our country and the genocide that we've inflicted upon indigenous I set up my classroom as best as I could, but I like it so far. Okay, so during third period, we have announcements and they do the Pledge of Allegiance. My room does not have a flag. It used to be there, but I took it down during COVID because it made me uncomfortable. But my kid today goes, hey, um, it's kind of weird that we just stand and then, you know, we say it to nothing. In the meantime, I tell this kid, we do have a flag in the class that you can pledge your allegiance to. And he like looks around and he goes, oh, that one? share some of the pretty rainbows in my classroom. I proudly wear my rainbow Apple Watch band every day. My kids know that I love rainbows. The official classroom theme is ocean, but I've made sure... Hey guys, I don't know if you've heard. I don't know if you've heard that um, the New York Times is under fire right now on Twitter. Yes, they are under fire. And, and, and the reason why we shock you, it is because they put out an article. And in that article... They referred to a biological woman as a non-transgender woman. <laughs> so the LGBTQ community are not happy with it. Oh, they were so sad. They were pained. It actually touched them in their soul. So they flooded the New York um, Times Twitter page and every other of their page on social media. To, to vent their, their displeasure and their anger at them. Why the normal people who were there were just there to have a laugh at them? People were, the normal people, they were, were laughing at them. Of course, normal people are, were actually much than these guys, but one thing you will know about these guys is that they have money, so that is why they were able to, you know, have that so, sort of large numbers. But still, the, the, the idea and where my fear actually comes from is, is from this place. I don't know if you guys have heard about the Sarah McBride problem where they're asking, okay, what bathroom would this person be using? I'm not really concerned about the bathroom this person, uh, Sarah McBride would be using. I'm, I'm concerned about the, the, the fact that they even allowed this in the first place. And that is because this place is not, the, 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 this position is not child's play position. This is where they make decisions that will affect millions of people, right? And if people there think that a man, a biological man, is a woman, that means nobody should ever believe anything that comes out of their mouth. Because if you can lie, because yes, it is a lie, if you can lie about something that simple, that means everything coming out from your mouth must be lies. That is it. That is it. And for the craziest part of all this is the people pushing this thing, the people forcing behaviors, the people paying and sponsoring this nonsense, the people paying for it, are doing this because they are trying to usher in some things that they, they, that doesn't make sense to a normal person. So, they want people to be able to believe lies. So bland, simple things and, and make them lies. Because if people can accept that lies, that means they will be able to accept any nonsense they bring out. If they say 2 plus 2 is 5, that means it's going to be 5. Since you can accept a trans, uh, a trans woman as a biological, no. They are not. And that is the reason why we need to continue fighting this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Let me know.